Hey everybody, welcome to the end of the week. It's June 1st, 2018. It's a Friday and this is News Break and I'm Alex Bennett. Let's take a look at some of the news going on out there today. U.S. employers ended a streak uh, of solid hiring in May by adding 223,000 jobs and helping lower the unemployment rate to an 18-year low of 3.8%. That's uh, down from 3.9% in April. Average hourly pay rose 2.7% from a year earlier, a slightly faster annual rate than in April. But the pay growth remains below levels that are typical when unemployment rate is this low. Now, as you know, we make it a policy of this newscast only to mention Donald Trump when there's something actually newsworthy rather than him dominating the news cycle. And today I got to mention this because we, we want to talk a little bit about it. President Trump asked in a tweet today why Samantha B. wasn't fired for using vulgar, sexist term to describe his daughter. In case you don't know, Samantha B. has a show called Full Frontal on TBS. He tweeted that it was a total double standard. Why weren't they firing no talent Samantha B. for the horrible language used on her low rating show? Now she allegedly said, and please turn off your video if you don't like nasty words, she called, allegedly called, Ivanka Trump a feckless cunt. Well, I've got news for you. Uh, she never called Ivanka Trunk, uh, Trump a feckless cunt. Try saying that three times fast. Uh, she, in fact, was bleeped, and for proof of that, here is the subtitle from uh, her show. It says, about your dad's immigration practices, you feckless bleep, he listens to you. In other words, she never said cunt. In fact, if people want to imagine a word she said, I suppose a lip reader might say, I think she said cunt, but cunt never went out over the air. That's why she isn't getting fired, because she used the term knowing full well it would be bleeped and that the audience would get a good laugh out of it. So shut up, Donald Trump, you feckless dickhead. Across Nicaragua, protesters are blocking highways and streets to send a message to government after more than 70 protesters were allegedly killed last month by the police. Uh, pot is increasingly replacing cigarettes and alcohol as the first drug of choice among young Americans. Boys, black Americans, Native Americans, Hispanics, and multiracial Americans were most likely to turn to marijuana before other recreational drugs, according to a new report. So uh, in a way, I think that's good news because marijuana, let's face it, doesn't hurt anybody. But here's an here's a interesting report. Nearly 60% of fatally injured drivers with known results tested positive for marijuana, I don't know how much, what percentage, opioids, and a combination of both in 2016, according to the governor's Highway Safety Association. Too many people operate under the false belief that marijuana and opioids don't impair their ability to drive. Now, I will argue that marijuana doesn't impair it as much as an opioid. In fact, there have been tests to show that people can compensate for marijuana almost 100% if they're an experienced user. But still, you shouldn't drive under the influence of anything. Get this now. Uh, Facebook is no longer the dominant player on social media among American teenagers, according to a new poll. YouTube, Snapchat, Instagram are being the top three most popular, according to a survey by the Pew Center for Research. So we do know, ladies and gentlemen, that Facebook is probably starting to lose a lot of viewers and uh, people who, who go to it. And I'm, I'm predicting within a couple of years, people will think of Facebook kind of like they think now of MySpace. Anyway, time now for our picture of the day. I couldn't find one. I tried, I just couldn't. So what do you resort to on the internet when you don't have a picture of the day? You go to a cute kitty. Okay, is that enough for you folks? Cute kitty pictures. Always, always, always a pleaser. 
And finally, our uh, from last night, last night's show was rather mediocre. A lot of we didn't have many callers and whatever, but we did have an interesting discussion. So there was a little clip we could play, and it was all about that whole flap with uh, with Samantha B. Here it is. Uh, this Samantha B. I guess lost uh, State Farm, and also lost uh, uh, one other uh, uh, advertiser. No, well, State Farm just lost me then. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm, hey, I'm, I was thinking about hey, Phil, State Farm, and I'm going to keep them now. <laughs> you know, Phil, you don't understand that the women consider the c word just like the the black people consider the n word. That's yeah. something they own, and Sally Field complained. Because she didn't think Ivanka lived up, because if you actually are that word, you are you are n nourishing to your family. You're powerful and you're beautiful. You're a good woman. And that was a clip from last night's program. You can watch tonight's program uh, just by going to youtube.com forward slash Bolo Bennett live forward slash live. That's youtube.com forward slash Bolo Bennett slash live. And uh, you will find a page that has a countdown to the next show. If you put that as a tab in your browser, it'll always be there. And when the uh, 10 o'clock hour rolls around, that picture will start to activate automatically. You don't have to do anything about it. Uh, you can also find us after the fact sometimes on Facebook if I like the show. You can find us on YouTube. You can find us on iTunes. You can find us on Livestream. Uh, you, we are 24-7 uh, on uh, uh, TuneIn. Okay, so a lot of different places. Go over to the gabnet.net page and you'll be able to find all the places that we're on. Hey, I want you all to have a nice weekend and we'll see you again on Monday.